Hey, hey, how's it going, folks? How is it going? Welcome, welcome back to another stream here. Third episode of the Half Hearted Hardcore Challenge. Can't believe we're the third episode already. Can you imagine that? Well, episode three, stream three, episode, I don't know, episode versus stream, the terminology, I don't know. It seems so little just saying episode three. When actually I feel like we've done quite a lot more than two episodes worth before. We've survived four hours so far, essentially, or just over four hours. But yes, hello everybody. Hopefully you're all doing well. Who have we got today? We've got Clayton Dubry, Meng Hong. We've got Nicholas Goodman, Elite Special Forces, Andrew Musgades. Wow, look at all these beautiful people. Bobby, Top Notch, Timothy Harris. <laughs> So many beautiful people. Kyle Nearman, Jacob Smith, Smiley R979, Bullet Cobra. Good to see you folks. Aditya. Lovely to see you. Hopefully you're having a lovely Saturday so far. Caden Dor. Hey, look at that beautiful diamond pickaxe. I see you there with that beautiful continued membership support. Thank you so much. And before we get started, I do want to give a couple of shout outs, if I may. Once again, before the stream even began, we had a couple of new members. We've got Valderi Valdera and TEOC Photographer, both with the memberships. Thank you so much for the support. It goes a long, long way. So, let's get this thing started, shall we? Hop into the world, start kicking some booty, and hope that our booty is not the one being kicked. I don't know why the chunk borders are on, but we're going to go and turn those bad boys off. Totally wasn't trying a completely different video idea or, you know, testing a little bit of a something something. <laughs> Unrelated to this. You may see that come to fruition one day. I don't know. So, here we go, here we go, here we go. Wow, you pronounced my name right? Hey, Bobby. Yeah, I, mean, I know that because that's like a half of me mother's maiden name. So B-E-A-U, Bo. It's just another way, another way of going about things. Hey, Pathana, how are you doing today? Hey, hail for gaming. Good to see you, buddy. I was saying in the last stream, you and one other individual are the only people in this entire stream that have the fabled netherite pickaxe icon. So, buddy, I just want to say thank you so much. 24 months of support when this channel itself is only, what, 25, maybe 26 months? That's kind of nuts, isn't it? So thank you so much, buddy. So after this live stream series is over, is the Terraria live stream series going to start? Uh, I don't really have any news on the Terraria live streams just yet. I want to see how the new Terraria series on Calamity does before I make any decisions there. But yeah, nice. Project Protect Python's Island. Yes, that is the plan. We want to get this thing done and dusted. I want to get the actual structure of it done. I want to not die to a drowned like we almost did in the last stream. <laughs> that was uh, that was a bit of a big old yikes, wasn't it? That was. And uh, yeah, I just want to, you know, make this into a proper little base island. I don't want to light it up. I want to get a bunch of sort of railings put around the side so no hostile mobs can waltz their way over and just... Get onto the island and kick our booties. We don't want to be having none of that nonsense, do we? Not at all, in fact. So, what do we want to do? I need, at the very least, I need to try and get myself some more smooth stone because I do not believe we have enough to be getting on with. We've got plenty of regular stone, but not a lot of smooth stone. And, well, one of the things I'm going to have to do, and it's going to pain me to do this, but I think I'm going to need some charcoal. Because I've actually used all of my coal at this point, folks. So, in that goes. In that goes. It has been a very long time since I've made charcoal. Yeah, drowned with a trident. That's how we almost died in the last stream, folks. Like, unknown to me, a drowned with a trident spawned in the river here while it was raining. And it almost kicked my booty. You know? If it wasn't for my quick reflex times with my beautiful shield, <laughs> it would have been quite bad. So, are you doing the sunlight roof of this stream? Yeah, actually, that reminds me. I'd love to go ahead and do that. How's about we get started with that right now while we are getting the charcoal? Because we can use the charcoal not only to get ourselves the smooth stone, but also a bunch of glass. I mean, why not? Can we prevent drowned spawning? I confess, I don't know the answer to that. 
I have absolutely no idea. I don't know if you can, like, light up the underwater enough to the point where they don't spawn anymore. I mean, what could we do? We could put a bunch of glowstone down, maybe some stream lights, basically any of the blocks that give light. And maybe, just maybe, that might be enough to stop drowned spawning. But I don't know if the drowned spawning mechanics rely on light level or anything like that, you know? I'm realizing it's becoming nighttime, by the way. Uh, yeah, we should probably do ourselves a favor here, eh, folks? We should probably get ourselves in the house, you know? Half heart Harkle with Trident Drowned is scary? Oh, dude, scared. Scared doesn't cover how truly afraid I was when we came across that in the last one. Oh, God. There we go. Nice, fresh new day. Love to see it. No drown down here? No, I think we're looking pretty darn good, folks. Sea cucumbers would work for keeping drowned spawns at bay? Ah. The only thing is, we don't really have any sea cucumbers, which sucks. I wouldn't mind having that, to be fair. I think that's a mighty dang fine idea. Uh, I missed you streaming, Python. Hey, don't even fret about it, buddy. As you folks may or may not know by now, uh, all of these streams, they go up as videos after the fact. So if you miss any part of these streams, don't even fret about it. If you're late to the stream, don't fret about it. It's all good. We've all got our own lives to lead, eh? We've all got stuff to do. It's all good. Don't even fret about it. Uh, did you hear that Bedrock is getting hardcore and all the death bugs are getting fixed? Are they? Ah, interesting. Ah, oh, dude, that would actually be so cool, to be fair. Like, all of the Bedrock folks will, prob will finally be getting in on the whole, you know, the, the whole hardcore scene. It's about damn time, isn't it? Like, all you Bedrock folks out there, you've been going without it for all of this time. And Java folks have had it for literally years upon years upon years. Probably even a decade. I don't know. Anyway, let's have a look. We've got a good amount of sand. Okay, well, I think we're doing pretty good here. Imagine drowning. <laughs> Imagine drowning. We ain't getting drowned today, folks. No way, Jose. Uh, well, wait, what's that, sorry? Well, you might... Sorry, I can't quite understand that sentence. Mojang secretly tweaked the drowned spawn rates after 1.13. Yeah, I'm aware of that, but I don't know if they changed it to the point where they could still, like, spawn if it's nice and bright underwater. I don't know that. So, yeah. Anyways. Oh, look at that. We've got some beautiful charcoal going on. Love to see it. Right. We need a whole bunch of stuff. Let's have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That goes in there like that. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. A nice full stack of glass. Okie McDokey. I think we're looking good. Can we finally get rid of this thing now? Because good grief is it an eyesore. Like, look at it. It's just awful, isn't it? I think we need to operation get rid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I'm a bedrock player. I might try hardcore, right? Yeah, go for it. Go for it. The funny thing is, Minecraft Hardcore, when it first came out on the Java Edition, it never really went anywhere. I think it was mostly because of, I mean, uh, you know, I, I don't know this for a fact, but I think it was mostly because of Phil's five-year run that Minecraft Hardcore, the mode itself, really came into the spotlight. I mean, obviously, let me know if I'm wrong with that, but that's where I started to personally notice that Hardcore was really starting to take off on YouTube from Phil's five-year Hardcore death. I mean, we've probably all seen it, eh, the way he died in that world. The baby zombie and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. I'd like to hope that we don't get killed by a baby zombie. Phil's out and Luke the Notable caused it to take off. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds about right, to be fair. That sounds about right. So, let's get rid of this thing. Yeah. And then Luke came along. Yeah, pretty much. Hard, half hard hardcore plus deep dark. Oh, good grief. <laughs> wow. Well, that's interesting. Sorry, I've ju I just noticed on my viewer activity thing, apparently there's a new member, but they don't have a name. Message retracted. How the heck is that the case? A little bit of a weird one. But anyways, hell for gaming with the 24 months renewed membership, buddy. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it, bud. 24 months, the fabled netherite pickaxe icon. Ah, uh, I feel so bad. Who was the other person who had 24 months? I'm going to go and research that right now just so I can, you know, be sure about it in my head. 
So, total time as member. There we go. King Claw Blazer. So, yeah. Hailfall Gaming and King Claw Blazer are the only folks who have the fabled netherite pickaxe. But the interesting thing is, that isn't even the top little icon that you can get. At 36 months, you'll get a flower pot. And at 48 months, the absolute maximum icon you can have is a rainbow flower pot. Yeah. 48 months, though. That's four years. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. But yeah, helpful gaming. Thank you so much for the continued support, buddy. I really, really do appreciate it. Like, that really does mean the world. So, yes. Let's see if we can't get back on with this thing. What I'm needing more than anything is some smooth stone. Ah, excellent. Right, I should be able to make some decent progress now, folks. Uh, we should probably make sure we've got a bunch of bits and bobs on us. I'm going to be needing a bunch of these here slabs. Uh, I definitely do need some spruce wood. I'm thinking maybe we do a little bit of that. Right. And we might just be able to start getting some roof bits on here. We've just got to make sure we don't die. Because that would be pretty embarrassing. How did you die in your Minecraft Hardcore world? I was building... Like, that's just that's just bad, isn't it? You can't <laughs> dying via building. That'd be so embarrassing. Like, really, it would be. <laughs> uh, is Saturday streams going to be a more common thing instead of Sundays for this particular stream series? Yes, it is always going to be Wednesdays and Saturdays. I'm going to try my best, my absolute best, to try and stick to that routine. Wednesdays and Saturdays for this, and then. When season three of the normal Let's Play returns, when 1.21 comes out, then yeah, we will absolutely bring back Survival Sundays for the Let's Play series. So I hope that is something that will excite you folks. So yeah, we're actually going to go up to potentially three Minecraft streams per week, which would be a pretty a darn awesome, actually. I'm looking forward to that. I really am. How did you die? Fell off a roof. Yeah, that'd be pretty embarrassing as well. Are you kidding me? Is it about to become nighttime again already? Oh, no, it's not. It's just a little bit dark underneath, it would seem. Never mind. All right, uh, so we're going to have windows here and here. So let's just see if we can't do a little thing here. Wait, I've just realized something. This is incorrect. I've just wasted some glass, folks. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I need some of these bad boys so I can do a little bit of this. Ah, that's what we're looking for. Then we put the glass in between. Rather similar to how we've got it downstairs. That's the plan. Hey there, Ozacraft. How you doing, bud? Wow, a busy schedule. Well, the thing is, by the end of this month, I will have not just one series slash season ending, but two. Because my Terraria Master Ranger playthrough is, as you guys may or may not know, it's going to be coming to a close in the next couple of episodes. Uh, the plan is to have it done by the end of this month, so we can hit the ground running next month with a brand new Calamity playthrough. That's going to be pretty awesome. And then, of course, we've also got Let's Play Season 2 of the Minecraft Let's Play also coming to a close. So, you know, we're going to have a bit of a gap for once. So, I don't mind. I don't mind taking up streaming just a little bit more. Uh, what do I feel about 1.21? I'm looking forward to it. To be honest with you, I don't know... I mean, with most other Minecraft updates when they come along, I usually kind of know what is coming. But in 1.21, I haven't personally checked out a single feature. So I'm looking forward to 1.21 simply because I've sort of kept myself blind to it. I want to go into it with like blind reactions because I think that's going to be really, really fun. I'm concerned that you might get burnt out. Hey, don't even fret about it, buddy. We all good up in here. I'm feeling good. Uh, right. Do we have another crafting table in here? Yes, we do. It's like underneath one of these stairs. Ah, smart. I'm already forgetting what I've got in this world. <laughs> ah, jeez. Uh, have I ever played No Man's Sky? Yep, when it first came out, but not for many, many years at this point, bud. Not for many years, in fact. I'm realizing that I'm missing a resource. Or am I? Let me just think about this. We need to do a little bit of that, that, that. Right? That's going to be sort of where the wall is. So actually, I don't think we need to worry too much about having all that going on. Uh, then, on top of this... I mean, how are we looking? This is where the slabs start coming into play, right? And then... Then we can think about the skylights, okay? Okay. So, what I like to do with my skylights is I like to have them be nice and open. 
Now, I need to be careful with this because, of course, we don't have Silk Touch. I need to make sure that what I place here is accurate, okay? So, let's see if we can do that, shall we? Uh, right, so we can keep on going with some of this, rather like so. Right, now I think we could get away with putting in some skylights. I think that would be really, really cool. Yeah, so let's do one, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two. I'm thinking maybe we could have like a separator here since this is where there's a little bit of a thing going on anyway. Uh, we could have one, two, one, two, and then a little bit of a one, two, three. And there we are. That's a skylight. That is one of our skylights. Let's see if we can jump down into here. Yeah. And then we can admire our brand new skylight from inside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm kind of down with this. This kind of works out quite nicely. Yeah. Don't about you guys, but I love skylights. I think they're absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's just me, but the days in Minecraft are now shorter. No, nah, they're really not. I think it's just because there's just so much stuff to do in Minecraft now. It probably feels like they're shorter. You know, there's so much stuff to do. It's kind of similar to Stardew Valley in that sense, you know. At the start of the game, you could quite easily get to bed in time because there's not a great deal to do at the start of the game. But then you start getting into more advanced stuff, like getting really down deep into the caves. And then you're struggling to get back to your house for 2 a.m. before the friggin' monsters start spawning in and all that kind of jazz, you know? <laughs> yeah. Kind of crazy. Hey, for gaming with the five buckaroos. I've seen series come and go, but I plan to stick around as long as I can. Also, No Man's Sky is fantastic. New updates are goated. Hey, might be something for me to uh, check out, eh? I don't know. Do I play Stardew? Have I played the new Stardew update? Uh, I haven't actually. No. <laughs> the fun fact is, I actually intended on making like a little one-off video. Just be checking out some of the new features, but I just never got around to it. So, I think I've already missed the gun with that one. Uh, right. It is becoming night time. I just want to top myself up on resources. We're going to get in here, have a little bit of a snooze. And then we're going to keep on going with this bad boy. My first goal is to get this house done. The infrastructure anyway. I want to get it done. And then we're going to get on with trying to protect... Uh, the island, basically. Our little base island. But yeah, Hellful Gaming, thank you so much for the super chat, buddy. I appreciate that. 24 months of membership as well as super chat. And what an absolute MVP. Appreciate you, bud. Thank you. So, uh, right, what am I doing? Ah, jeez. What is with my memory? I'm just awful. Uh, let's do a little bit of this. Definitely in need of some glass panes. So we can ensure that we don't just jump out of the window to our death. I mean... You know, how bad must our lives be to have that potentially be a thing? <laughs> no, we ain't having none of that nonsense. We're trying to eradicate as many different ways of dying as humanly possible, okay? Uh, Stardew, in my opinion, it's one of those games that I prefer to play just in my own time by myself. It's not something I can really see myself making videos on. Because, I mean, I don't know. The same could be said of Minecraft and Terraria, but the start of the game is very, very samey, you know? Once you've seen one person play Stardew from the start, you've pretty much seen everybody do it. And I don't really feel like there's too much new I can bring to the table in terms of having, like, a different style or anything like that. As you guys know, I always opt for sort of a ye olde style of Let's Play. And, uh, you know, with that said, and that being the case... Yeah, there's not really a great deal I could really do, so. I would say, don't hold out for any Stardew content for me. If it does happen, that'll probably only ever be a one-off. I'm not really in the market to do any other games. I mean, for goodness sake, I've only just sacked off Ark Survival Ascended. So, yeah. I just want to kind of keep going with what I've got going on right now, you know. A little bit of Minecraft, a little bit of Terraria. Streams on, hopefully, both eventually. So, yeah, I don't want to overwhelm myself. It's definitely one of my weaknesses here on YouTube, and it's something I'm trying to get better with. So, yeah, I think it's healthy to have games that I play just sort of, you know, in my own time behind the scenes. You know, I play things like Call of Duty Zombies. I play Helldivers 2 as well behind the scenes. Gran Turismo 7. Yeah, it's plenty of stuffs. Plenty of stuffs. Uh, let's have a bit of food here, shall we? Have I played Power World? Probably only for about five minutes up until I realized that, oh, hey, I've got a video to make. <laughs> so I haven't really done a great deal with it. Not really. Don't fall on the roof, Python. I know. 
I know, I know, Bat. Don't even fret about it. I very much am knowing that I don't need to fall off the roof. That would be really bad, eh? But yes, keep it on going. We're just sort of, we're killing multiple birds with one stone here. Only one of the things I do want to do is I do want to sort of deforest this island so I can sort of, you know, get an idea as to the sort of terrain and more to the point, the size of terrain we have to work with for our eventual island. So... Yeah, deforesting while simultaneously actually needing the wood for our, you know, starter base. Works out pretty nice. Imagine chopping trees and a creeper creeps. Oh, dude, can you imagine that? That would be very, very sad. See, the thing is, though, as we deforest this, and I'm very sorry about that, all you nature conservationists out there. Yeah, we actually inadvertently make this a bit safer, right? We make our island a bit safer because we'd be able to see where people are. You know what I mean? I like being able to see where people are, you know? I never know one spawn underneath my trees. I'm not having no skeletons seek refuge underneath these trees to avoid getting burned. No, 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 no. No, I want them to get burned. Skeletons can burn in hell. <laughs> but yeah. Hey there, Rainer, with the five pound donation, finally caught a Python stream and on my birthday, no less. Love you, Python, to turn 27 today. Happy 27th birthday to you, Rainer. I really appreciate the support, buddy. You absolutely did not need to donate, especially on your birthday. I really hope you've had a good one, buddy, and I hope that you have a fun one even still. Yeah, amazing stuff. Oh, look at that squid. For any of you guys who don't know, we've been having a bit of a recurring theme with squid on this world in that they keep killing themselves. And I really hope that isn't like a bad omen for things to come. That would be really sad. Uh, <laughs> well, you are a creeper with me business suit. Wait, maybe back in the day. Not anymore. I'm not a creeper anymore. No way, buddy. Why don't you strip mine instead of going caving and get shot by a skeleton? Ah, my lad. One thing we did fail to do, but eventually got round to doing in the last stream, we made ourselves a cobblestone generator. And here's the thing. Since the last stream, I've actually figured out how to make that one that we were trying to make in the last stream. So that could be something to do. I've got a screenshot saved somewhere. And all I need to do is bring it up. And then we might just be able to make ourselves a slightly more effective cobblestone generator. That, I think, would be a pretty boss idea. Indeed. I guess you've jinxed yourself now. Hey, if there's one thing you should know about me, folks, it is I always jinx myself. <laughs> Pretty much everything. Like, it's actually really bad. Oh, man. Hello, Mr. Python. Hey there, Loping Chief. How you doing there, buddy? Hope all of you folks are having a lovely Saturday so far. Or Sunday, if you're Australian, I guess. Yeah. Amazing. All right, look at this, my friends. It is starting to come together. Hell yeah, baby. What anime have I watched? Absolutely none. Yeah, not watched a single one. Not that that's a brag. It's just not really something I've found myself wanting to do, I guess. You know, everybody's got their own thing that they like to do and enjoy watching. It's just not really something that's ever interested me. I buy the air the constant ass. Hey, you doing, broski? Broski? Yeah, I'm Australian. Hey, so you're enjoying a nice, peaceful Sunday morning, eh? Yeah. Wow, okay. Amazing stuff. I'm not a huge anime person, but I do love Studio Ghibli. Ah. Well, okie McDoki. Right. Uh, I'm realizing we don't have enough glass to finish this. Look at this, my friends. Can you believe this? I am walking comfortably on my new roof. Aha! <laughs> right, one thing I should do is maybe just put a couple of torches here and there. I don't want to have any mobs of the night spawning up here. That would be very, very unfortunate, eh? But yeah, we need ourselves a few more bits of glass. And then I think we might just be onto a winner here, folks. If we can get the roof on this thing, maybe... Do you know what? I just freaked out a little bit. That pause right there was me freaking out. I jumped into the water. I heard the water splashing sound. And for some reason in my mind, I don't know if you guys get this, but sometimes when I splash into the water, I feel like it sounds very similar to a drowned. That's why I just freaked out there. It was a very silent freak out, but me pausing was me freaking out. 
Mobs can't spawn on slabs, can they? No, they can't. But if it's a top half slab, so essentially it looks like, you know, a regular block. If you can place a torch above it and you don't have a torch on it, then yes, they can spawn. Or top half slabs, they can spawn. I really need to get rid of this stuff. We have so much sugar cane now. I don't know what to do with it. Look at it. We've got so much of it. We can absolutely go for the goal of making ourselves a level 30 standard enchant area. That'd be pretty cool, eh? Uh, put stones next to the glass so it looks smoother. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. You know, all these finishing touch bits and bobs that we need to do. Don't fret about it. I will get to them. Like, I'm sort of semi-OCD when it comes to Minecraft builds. I want to make sure that what I'm building looks semi-respectable. You know what I'm saying? Right. Keeping it going with the sand, though. Because I very much need it. The more sand, the better. I do hope there's no one down here. Because I don't want to die. It's 10 p.m. in my country. What is it your time? It is currently, what, coming up to half past four in the afternoon. Or evening. Whatever floats your boat. There we are. Uh, maybe we can sort of double action this one. Boosh. There we are. And then a little bit of... There we are. We've still got some sand even still. Excellent. Woo! I was hoping for a Python stream because I'm sick. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Constant Ash. Hopefully you get better in the next few days, eh, bud? Hopefully it's not too bad. Do I watch football? Uh, nah, not really. Not really uh, much of a sports fan. Esports, on the other hand. I've actually found myself watching esports lately. Call of Duty esports. You know, just watch the pros do it because, good lord, can I not get up to that kind of level? <laughs> maybe 10 years ago when I had faster reaction times. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I could have been on the same kind of level, but nah. I'm nearly 30 years old and I'm already starting to notice the decline in my reaction times. Like, seriously, it's kind of nuts. We need a better entrance to the house. Yeah, absolutely. Don't even fret about it. All of these things that you suggested, I've thought about them already. Uh, where's the sun? It's over there. Okay, so we've got a limited amount of time to get this thing done and dusted. So, let's see if we can get the roof on before it becomes fully night here. And then I think we'll be okay. So, I am going to go up, let's say, from hither. Here we go. I just want to ensure that we've got a roof on this thing. If we've got a roof on this thing, we can essentially, you know, sigh a breath of relief. You know? Because then we can do stuff in our house to our heart's content. And that would be kind of nice. That'd be a nice feeling to have. Feeling like we've got a little bit of security going for us at long bleeding last. We spent the first two streams just being like, oh god. <laughs> you know? To finally be able to have a little bit of comfort in the security that we've had going on here. Oh, it's going to be nice, folks. It is. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have enough slabs, though. Ah, bugger. All right. At the very least... Mm, okay, we can get this thing done. Maybe we can... Oh, wait. There's no one down here, is there? There better not be. We're going to drop down here. We're going to have a bit of a snooze. And then we're going to get back to this thing. What's up here? Have a snooze. We keep it going. Oh, yeah. What movie have I watched the most times? Oh, God. I don't know. That's a good question, to be fair. I'm definitely someone who winds up watching the same movies over and over. It's just sort of a comfort thing, I guess. In the last few years, probably all of Daniel Craig's James Bonds, Casino Royale... Uh, oh, what is it? Quantum of Solace, Skyfall, Spectre, and of course the most recent one, Tomorrow Never Dies. I don't know. If I'm feeling like I've got a day where I could just do whatever and I'm just can't, I, I, don't, I don't feel like going out or anything like that, I'll just binge watch all of Daniel Craig's James Bond's back to back. Why not? <laughs> uh, right, anyway. Have I watched Alien? I have not. No. Gosh darn. Alright, let's keep it going. My friends, we're going to have this roof on today. Today. This is the day. This is the Minecraft day. We're going to get this thing done. It's about time, isn't it? Has the chat frozen? It has. Okay, I just have to refresh that. I apologize if I haven't seen any of your messages. Sometimes it's not even me, though. Imagine if a pillager patrol spawned. That is definitely nightmare fuel. I can see that happening, to be fair. Yeah. 
Are you guys trying to make me go all sort of anxiety filled? Because you're succeeding. I don't like that. <laughs> oh, good grief. All right, so we do a little bit of that, a little bit of that, and we try to do the same over here, and then I think we're going to be good to go. One, two, three, one, two, ba boom, ba boom. A little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. And then we need to get some more torches, and then that is it, folks. That's. So that goes there. What we've got to do now is make sure the light levels are all above zero. They are. No one should ever be able to spawn on this roof. And with that, we are done and dusted. We're finally done with the roof. Oh, dude, I'm so happy about that. I can actually do stuff in my house at nighttime and we'll be okay. <gasps> dude, that feels good. I feel like I should have these be bottom half slabs, though. Or top half slabs, technically, I guess. But yeah, I feel like this looks a bit better. It gives it a little bit more depth, I guess. And it makes the glass be nice and flush. I feel like this is the way. This is the way. That's an old meme right there. You gander knuckles. <laughs> Some of you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, all you need is a campfire to summon a pillager patrol. Is that a thing? Is that a fact? If so, I didn't know that. Wow. Okay. Right. We need to do a little bit of a uh, thing on the here. Because this looks a little bit untidy at the moment. Can I do a little bit of that? Yes, I can. Okay. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Oh, snap. All right. Looks like we've got a good amount of space to work with on the interior here, folks. Everything is looking good. How about stairs for that part? Yeah, maybe. It does look a bit sort of boxy up here at the moment, doesn't it? Maybe we could smooth things off just a little bit. Do something like that. I mean, it kind of works, right? I totally didn't just burp in my mouth. Hopefully you didn't hear that. <laughs> uh, and then with these, I can smooth that off a little bit. Yeah. The smoke from it summons them. Wow. I did not know that thing. I like, genuinely, oh, bugger. Come on now. Boom. Damn it! Okay, I'm going to have to do this the old-fashioned way, aren't I? Ah, jeez. All right, let's do it. So we go up, and then we do a little bit of that, and then we smooth it off. Yeah! More greenery could go a long way. Oh, don't you even worry about it, buddy. I'm going to be all over the greenery in a bit. I'm going to be all over it. So check it out. We've got ourselves a nice area to work with down here. This is sort of our under-the-stairs closet not closet area. It's just an area. We can go upstairs and this is eventually going to be our bedroom slash enchanting area of epicness. Uh, any plans for an ancient city raid? Not bleeding yet. What do you think I am? Good at this game? God, blooming hell, R2-D2. You're putting way too much faith in me there, bud. <laughs> mm. This chocolate house is making me hungry. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I know. We were saying in the last stream that this is got sort of all of the Neapolitan ice cream colors. We've got chocolate here, strawberry here. And I know this isn't really white, so thus isn't really vanilla, but it's close, I guess. Ice cream house, yeah, exactly. Hmm. That's cap. Ah, people trying to troll me. People trying to troll me, eh? Hey there, MMV333, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. If you are enjoying the stream and you want to help get these streams out there on YouTube, I would very much appreciate it, of course, if you would head down beneath the video, maybe drop a like. If you're new around here, why don't you consider subscribing? These are streams I do every Wednesday and Saturday at 4 p.m. GMT. Although GMT, that's going to change into uh, BST very soon. End of this month, in fact. So it might seem like... You know, from next month, it might seem like the streams are maybe one hour earlier or later or whatever it is. But for UK folks, it'll be the same time. So there might be a bit of a confusing period. Only I know that daylight savings time in the US, it comes at a different time of year, doesn't it? As far as I know, anyway. Mm. Seven more likes until 100. Hey, look at that. That's beautiful to see. Appreciate that, folks. Thank you so much. Hmm. Ah, apologies about that. I wanted to drink my tea before it became too cold. It was kind of borderline cold right there. So, yeah, there we are. Anyway, back to some Minecrafting. What are we going to do? 
So, yeah, plenty of torches going on. We're just going to make sure this is all lit up because why would you not do that? Uh, wow, yeah. The interior definitely needs some work. Uh, the foxes that were surrounding this area appear to have buggered off. They seem to be going fishing now, apparently. <laughs> why not? Why the heck not? All of the foxes have gone fishing. Yeah? Well, at least they're not fishing around for my chickens now. I may even feel comfortable enough to get rid of this. Have this been nice and open for them again. About bleeding time, isn't it? Alright, very good. Got some eggies down here for me? Yeah, a couple of eggies. Oh, look at that. We got a little baby. We got a little baby chicken. Ah, oh, beautiful. <laughs> I've read them. I renewed my membership at the beginning of the stream, but I accidentally deleted the message. Oh, that was you, Aragon. Ah. Accidentally delete the message when trying to remove the pop-up from the top of my screen. Ah, yeah. 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 Don't fret about it, buddy. I've done some silly things in YouTube streams. I'm just, I just don't have the knowledge just yet. I'm hoping that as time goes on, I might just become a semi-expert at YouTube streams. I might actually know what I'm doing with the platform. You know what I mean? <laughs> We are having a snowstorm where I am. Oh, dude. Wow. Hopefully you're staying safe there. Where are you living to have a snowstorm? What, Canada? Maybe the Nordic countries? I don't know. Can't think of many other places that might have snowstorms at the moment. Cold tea is the worst. Dude, dude cold's the tax. You don't even, you don't understand, man. Cold tea is just awful. Like, one of the all-time worst things to have in this freaking world. And what's worse is those people who say that, oh, hey, you could just put it in a microwave. Are you kidding me? No, man. You don't do that. Man, that would never be as good as fresh cups of tea. Nah. You're weird if you heat up a cup of tea in a microwave. Although, to be fair, I kind of understand the whole, you know, not wanting to waste it kind of thing. I can understand that argument for it, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know. All the flavor is gone when it gets cold. Yeah, exactly. Right. I'm realizing there's a little bit up here that we could probably be doing stuff with. Uh, so, yeah. These bits of dirt here, we're going to surround them with trap doors, okay? The idea is these are all going to become planters and we could put plants upon them. You know, we could put some flowers upon them. We could put ourselves maybe even some of these here long bits of grass. I really like these long ferns, actually. I think they look pretty dang amazing. Question is, what kind of wood do we want to use for these planter boxes? Do we want to add a bit more pink? Or do we want to use spruce? That is the question. That's the question. I'll tell you what, let's go and make ourselves an absolute ton of fence. Not fence gates. These uh, cherry trap doors, right? And then we shall try to figure that out together. Both of them. Wait, does this? Oh, it does have like a, it does have an area where you can see through it. Do we want that, or do we want to have the spruce trap doors, which are completely opaque? Oh, questions. These are the hard questions in life, folks. These are the hard questions. Uh, supposed to snow here next week in Winnipeg? Good lord, Winnipeg. That is a cold area when it gets to winter. I know that. Good lord. Fresh tea for the win. Exactly. Right, let's try something here. Let's start with these ones here, because I think... This is going to look pretty good. So do a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, okay? And what we're going to try and do... Ah, oh, it's become a nighttime again. Good lord! Man, the daytimes really don't last very long here. Alternating, maybe. An interesting idea. But yeah, I think, personally speaking, I think spruce works better. Especially around the sides here, where there's actually quite a lot of pink going on. I think the brown offsets it quite nicely, you know? And once we get some plants in there, even better. I think it's going to look amazing. I really do. What we need to do, though, is we need to try and obtain ourselves a pair of shears. Uh, oh, good news is we've actually got enough to do such things. Excellent. Right. Uh, so if I pick that up, it gives us two ferns. The thing is, we don't have bone meal, I don't think, in order to double it up. Eh, okay. Never mind. We'll try and work something out in just a hot second here. We're just going to have ourselves a little bit of a snooze for now. One cherry in the middle. Oh, do you mean like, like a cherry sapling in the middle? Ah, that could potentially work. Or do you mean like cherry trap doors? Maybe. 
a skeleton school could look very good decorating. Yeah, probably. But to get the easiest way to get a skeleton school probably is an ancient city, followed by getting a charge creeper to blow up a skeleton, right? So yeah, I don't know. So, my god, this is a builder's inventory, if ever I saw one. Good sweet lord. What is all this? There's so much crud. Good lord. Mining episode next stream? Maybe. I mean, I won't rule it out. We need to get ourselves a few bits of this. See if we can't get ourselves some flower pots up in this business. I am the flower pot king at the end of the day. We need to, uh, you know, keep on going with that little title. Oh, please don't let there be any drowned. Yeah. <laughs> Death. Death next stream. That's what you're thinking. That's what you're thinking. You think I'm gonna die in the next stream? Ah, uh, dude. Dude. No faith. No faith. That's what I'm seeing in chat here. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Don't even take that seriously. Good lord. Ah, uh, right. Come on. We are looking good in terms of clay. What we're not looking good ter in terms of, though... Oh, wow. Look at all this glass. Wow, we definitely need some more bits of charcoal. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't get on with a little bit of that for now. What we could maybe start about, start about? What we could start doing is maybe bring, bring in some storage in here. What do we think? Hey there, Marco. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a good one. Uh, Python, will you ever do a Python tries again? Probably. Probably. For any of you guys who don't know, back on the Python GB channel... Uh, occasionally I will do like one-off episodes, which sort of, I don't know, the sort of a Python tries episode where I'll just try different games and maybe double up as a little bit of a pilot episode. Basically, I put these things out as a bit of a feeler, try to gauge my audience's reaction if they so happen to hit the YouTube search algorithm or anything like that. If there's enough support, then maybe a Python tries episode could be the first episode of a new series. But for the most part, they're just sort of one-offs. Uh, oh, look at all these chickens. Yeah, you're doing you're doing well there, buddy. Uh, anyway, we do have a shout out. Ari Cardona, thank you so much for the uh, brand new membership. For any of you guys who have become a member in today's stream and you haven't already, one thing you can do is you can actually join my YouTube members only Discord. Head into your Discord settings, click on the connections tab and link your YouTube to your Discord and then there should be be the server. You can join it and you can join our little community. So yeah. Python tries episode of GTA 6. Oh man, that'd be an interesting one. Because GTA is not a PG franchise. So I don't even know if it would work on the Python GB channel. Although saying that, I've done GTA content in the past on GB, haven't I? Ah, maybe. Maybe. I won't rule it out. I will not rule it out. One thing I will do, though, is I'll roll on over here and see about getting some charcoal. All right, here we go. Chuck that in there. Chuck that in there. And there we go. We've got clay for flower pots. Finally, folks. Oh, yes. It's going to be a good time. Another live stream. Hey. Love the Vince Python. So happy I could catch a stream. Hey, Aria. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Appreciate you guys spending your time, uh, especially a Saturday. Saturday. Usually peak day for most folks, isn't it? For doing bits and bobs. But the fact that you guys are sticking with me here today, appreciate that. More than you know. Thank you. Have you ever played Stardew Valley? I certainly have. I haven't since the new updates have come along, though, so don't really know all too much about what's going on. Path of Drives Overwatch 2? Nah. Nah, not really too interested on, in all these, like, hero shooters that we've got going on. What I have been enjoying lately is sort of PvE stuff. I've been enjoying Call of Duty Zombies. I know some of you folks might be asking for some more Road to Mastery, but I don't know. Probably ain't gonna happen, to be honest with you. They just, the episodes didn't really do that well. I don't know. And to be honest, I, I've, I've got a whole bunch of new weapons, gold enigmas, since the last episode so i've kind of you know broke that series anyway it doesn't matter too much but yeah i've been playing a lot of call of duty zombies lately i've been playing some uh hell divers 2 as well again nice pve kind of dealio going on there so yeah lots of stuff lots of stuff going on i remember when you had community member fan arts as minecraft paintings ah oh, i love that i'd love to do that again i really would 
I think that was a really nice thing to do. It was a nice way of uh, recognizing people's talent for art. Because, oh my word, is there a lot of artistic talent out there in the world? Like, seriously. Bro is flexing his Minecraft skills. <laughs> uh, Alright, here we go. Let's see if we can't figure this thing out, shall we? Uh, so, this is going to be a planter. Uh, maybe we can have ourselves a flower put on there. Maybe we can have ourselves a sapling. And then maybe over here, we could have a cherry sapling. We could alternate it that way. Some of you guys were on about maybe alternating the trap door types. But how about we alternate the sapling types? I think that look, could look pretty cool. And look at that. They were waving around as well. Oh, that looks so cool though. <laughs> Love it so much. It's the simple things in this game that make me happy. Flower pots are definitely one of them. Hey there, Brother Baker. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you again. Yeah. This is looking good. Okay. Uh, what if I was to do a little bit of that? Do you know what? How about themed, like, planter boxes? Like, ferns and sprues ha go hand in hand, no? They are in the same biome. So, how's about over here? I mean, I would put down the pink petals, but we wouldn't be able to see them for the most part. So, I'm thinking... We could grab some cherry leaves, you know? Go all all out with the pink over here. And then all out with the sort of sprucey green type stuffs. Ah! The flower pot king is back. Yeah, I am. I am. Oh no, I might have been away for a little bit. But hell, I'm back. I'm so back. The drowned last stream was crazy. It was. It really was. <laughs> Totems would be a game changer. Now, I, I seem to recall having a bit of a discussion about this in maybe the first two streams. But... Here's the thing. I am not overly a fan of using totems in hardcore runs. However, in a half-hearted hardcore run, anything and everything can one-shot you. So as a result, I think in a half-hearted hardcore run, I wouldn't mind going for totems if we can even get to that point. However, when it comes to regular hardcore runs, for goodness sake, you've got 10 whole hearts or what is technically 20 half hearts. If you die in Minecraft hardcore, it's almost always your fault. I don't think totems should be allowed to be used in hardcore runs. You know? I don't know. That's just me. People can play the game they want to, but I'm just... I, I don't... I don't like using totems in regular hardcore runs. I think it's a super cheesy way of getting around it. You know? But again, maybe that's just me. Uh, right. Do we want to have some planters on the interior here? I think that could be quite nice. Maybe we could have like a big large planter like that. Kind of. I mean, I'm kind of down with it. Python tries American Truck Simulator. <laughs> no, good grief. You can like donos now. Yeah, I noticed that as well. That's kind of boss, actually. Talking to donos. Josephine, thank you so much for the 100 Swedish krona. Happy Saturday, Python in chat. How Hope everyone is doing amazing. Hey, doing amazing indeed. Thank you so much for the dono, Joseph. I really appreciate it. I've noticed you've donated quite a lot in these streams since I uh, came back uh, and was slightly more regular with it. So thank you so much. Appreciate it. Right. I mean, I don't know. Do we want to have like a big thing here? Kinda. Only I want to break up these textures a little bit. They're a bit sort of samey. Eh. There is a different idea. Okay, bear with me, bear with me. Okay, bear with me. I think, what if I was to do a little bit of this? I can maybe make this into a little walkway. We can walk up here, and then we can look upon our dominion. And then, in terms of having like a really, really narrow sort of fence, I'm thinking we could probably do something like this. So, you know... So long as we're not, like, jumping around like an absolute nincompoop, we won't wind up, you know, falling down. we just got to make sure we're not jumping around, you know? So if I do... Oh, that's a little bit concerning. I could just walk across that. That's a bit of a yikes, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not so sure about that now. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that idea now. I've just done a complete 180 on myself. <laughs> that might be a bit dangerous. But I don't know. I kind of like the idea of this. A little bit of a walkway. Yeah, I could make it work. That is a death trap. I know, right? 
I could. Hang on, bear with me. I'm going to try something. Oh, it might be slightly dangerous, but I'm going to try it, okay? We're going to try and put down a fence, uh, a, a trapdoor like that. Then we're going to get rid of this one here. Can we walk across this? Wait, hang on. Let me do that again. Not really. Yeah, I seem to hit it every time. So as long as I don't sprint off this, it should be okay, yeah? And then when it comes to these side ones, I can continue having it like that. Ah! Ah, I see. I think we've just uh, I think we've just outsmarted the game here. Cool. Ah, that looks a little bit weird though. What can we do here? What if I was to uh this is, this is just turned into trapdoor central at this point, but I kind of like it. Ah! Yeah, that looks a bit weird now. Big brain. I know, right? We try. I try my best, my friends. I try my best. <laughs> right, let's go to sleep here real quick. Mending and time source would be fine if there were some damn easy to get an infinite amount. Yeah, probably. Okie McDoki. Hmm. What? I feel like I'm in the middle of trying to do like 16,000 different things at the moment. Let's see if we can't calm this thing down a bit. I want to see if I can't... I'm just going to have to do a little bit of that, that, and that. And then waltz around the edge here. I'm not going to fall off that. Okay, good. Ah. Do a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Boot. Crumbs. I messed that up big time. <laughs> I was meant to place them against the trap door, not the stairs. What a nincompoop. Python tries cooking simulator. I mean, I kind of do that in real life. I don't think I need to do that in the game. I cook in real life as well. So here we go. One, two, three. Get rid of these and keep it going. I just realized this is half heart hardcore. Anything is possible. Exactly. Exactly. We've got to be super careful. Yeah, I cook. I like to cook in real life. Yeah, baby. All right, so this is looking kind of okay. Kind of? A bit? Maybe? My concern now, though, is this. I could just walk off there and just die. Ugh. Do you know what? Part of me is just thinking maybe I should just hashtag get over it. Ah, This is going to look so weird, though. So I could do that. And then bring one of those up. Right? But then we... Wait, do we clash? No, we don't clash with that. Wait a minute. This might work after all, actually. I really do apologize. I feel like I'm just sort of spending way too much time on this. But you guys know me. I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to this game. I want to make sure I'm doing things to the best of my ability. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but before we do anything, we do need to have ourselves a little bit of a wood grinding sesh. Or wood chopping sesh. Apparently, there is a touch grass simulator. Really? <laughs> oh. I mean, honestly, I think... I mean, if you can... If, something IRL. Any kind of activity IRL, there is probably some sort of simulator game for it at this point. You know? <laughs> uh, what about a pillar up on a corner? Well, the thing is, by doing that, I'd be interrupting the chickens, wouldn't I? I don't know. Anyway, we'll keep going it. We'll keep going here. Uh, we do need ourselves a few more of these bad boys. A few more ferns. There we go. All is looking well. We do need to plant ourselves down some more cherry trees. We should probably do that right now while I'm here. Wait, there's a bunch of mushrooms here. Oh, hell yeah. Wow. Okay. Mushrooms galore. Kind of down with it. We've got way too much on our inventory again. How about we get rid of this egg? And then we spread this about a little bit. Part that is already touching grass in Minecraft? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, right. Come on. Uh, more woodsy doodles are required. We are slowly but surely deforesting this area. Like an absolute professional. Part that tries scrap mechanic. All these Python try suggestions, to be honest, like 99% of them probably won't wind up being a thing. I don't know. Like I say, I'm pretty set in my ways with the games that I have going on on my uh, full-time roster, shall we say, 
Minecraft and Terraria. I've been enjoying both of them a lot lately. I'm very excited for the Calamity series that is to come. Like, very excited for it. Because I am going to try to return to Daily Terraria over on the uh, GB channel with the start of that new series. I think it's going to be a fun time. We're going to see how far we can go with the Daily series. Because it's been a long, long time since I've done a Daily series. Uh, right, what am I doing? I need an axe. Yes, 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 yes. A little bit of this. Right, I also need to put some stuff away because holy crap. Look at the state of my inventory here. This is just awful. Look at it. There's so much stuff. I don't know what to do with all of it, man. Oh, my good sweet lord. Uh, what we should do is probably have ourselves a little bit of food. Hey there, JM. What are you doing? Good to see you there, Budski. What's my favorite dish to cook? Probably a pasta bake. Just pasta bake in general. I mean, I know it doesn't take a great deal of skill to make pasta bake, but there is sort of little bits and bobs that I do to make my pasta bakes my own. Uh, you know, for example, one of the things I do... A pasta bake will usually take about 45 minutes to cook in an oven, right? So what I do is I take it out halfway through and then I add a layer of breadcrumbs, okay? And then on top of the breadcrumbs, I will usually lay on a layer of cheese. Any kind of cheese, mature cheese, or in my girlfriend's case, lacto-free cheese, you know? We've got our own little separate sort of pie dishes things that we use for our pasta bakes. Uh, we can have, like, separate things. For the most part, I like pasta bake because it's a bit of a sort of fridge slash freezer slash cupboard clear out kind of dinner, isn't it? If you've got some, like, I don't know, spare slices of ham, for example, you could chuck them in a pasta bake. I love that, you know? If I've got some sweet corn laying around, chuck it in. If I've got some spare tomatoes that need using up, chuck them in, you know? I love pasta bake. I really do. It's one of my favorite things to do. All right. This is starting to look quite nicely chopped, this island. It's getting there. Compo compost the spare saplings. That will help clear up your inventory. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, to be fair. You are not wrong. Yeah. All right. Look at this. We're starting to see more of our surroundings here. There's like another massive mountain over there, for example. I really like this area. Now, we had this massive mountain here. In fact, I think we were up on there when we spotted this island area. And then, yeah. <laughs> we just kind of decided, you know what? I think we should have an island. It's been a long time since I've had any kind of island as a base. You know? What's my favourite ice cream? Oh, man. That'd have to be mint choc chip any day of the week. Mint choc chip. I mean, is there anything better than mint choc chip? Probably followed by Neapolitan, which I guess, technically speaking, is three different kinds of ice cream. But still, I like it. I like it a lot. So, what are we doing? What we need to do... I just said, what do we need to do, like, three times in a row. Let's try to do something. Yeah. Right, we need one more trapdoor there, and then this will be sort of nicely secluded. There will be no chance of us falling down. So long as we're not jumping around like a moron up here, okay? All should be good. Yes, I love mint choc chip. Hey, smiley nose, what's going down? I'd rather have toothpaste than mint choc chip. Oh, Aragon, nah. That's an L take right there if I've ever saw one. Hell no, dude. <laughs> toothpaste. Good grief. But to be fair, you, there's mint and there's mint, isn't there? You can get like different types of mint, I guess. Peppermint, spearmint, all that kind of stuff. It depends on the kind of mint used, really, doesn't it? But yeah, L take. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, let's keep this thing going. We're going to get these trapdoors done and dusted, right? And then we're going to carry on. We are basically trying to python-proof this thing, okay? That is the plan. <laughs> Python's takes are all Ws. Hell no. I could not disagree more with that. Good lord. I mean, if you go through your life believing that all of your takes are Ws, ah, oh, mate. <laughs> You, you got you got to allow yourself to be disagreed with because that is the way you learn, isn't it? But I appreciate that sentiment. Thank you. Sounds nice, to be honest. Uh, ooh. Better make, I think it's a casserole in America. Something like mac and cheese. Oh, uh, uh, what? Regarding pasta bakes. Someone asking what they are. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, pasta bake. Uh, uh, yeah, I think it's... Uh, does it originate from Italy? I mean, it sounds... 
to me, it's very Italian because pasta is like Italian. Like, I don't know. Uh, that might just be me though. But yeah, here we go. We've actually managed to Python proof this thing. Can you believe this? Look at this. Again, as long as we're not sort of jumping around like a blithering idiot, we should be okay. There's no chance of me falling in here. You see? Trapdoor fence. <laughs> Excellent. Very good, very good. People have a right to their own opinions. Yeah, exactly. 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 Could not agree more. Right, I've just realized all of my clay should be smelted up now. Oh, okay, even better. Wait, hang on. Uh, let's be shears. We can get some of these uh, beautiful leaves, finally. All right, let's have some of these bad boys, shall we? Oh, this is going to be so cool. We're going to have ourselves a bunch of pink going on with our house. Not that there isn't pink already, but there's going to be even more pink now. And it's going to look absolutely fan-freaking-tastic. Hell yeah. Baby-proof the house? <laughs> what, you mean like baby zombies? Or do you mean like me? I mean, if you mean me, then fair enough. I don't blame you for having that viewpoint, but yeah. <laughs> right, let's carry on with these uh, little plant boxes here real quick. These ones can have, like, sides to them. I think that's going to look really, really cool. A little bit of that, a little bit of that. We can have ourselves a couple of plant boxes there. And then around the edge, we can have some more. There's no drowned around here, is there? Oh, I hope not. I cannot tell you how much I don't want to die via a drown. That would be the biggest L in history for me. Pink is a manly color. Hey, any color can be for anyone. Never agreed with this whole, this color is for people. <laughs> but I know you're probably joking. So don't worry about it, bud. Uh, right, come on. Let's keep it going. It, this really is trapdoor central, isn't it? I mean, look at the amount of trapdoors we got going on in here. Trapdoor this, trapdoor that, trapdoor this, trapdoor that. There's just trapdoors everywhere. I'd love to know how many trapdoors I've crafted. Probably quite a lot. Make an iron door. That's not a bad idea. Although, with that said and done, didn't we do the whole open trick? Yeah, we did. So, with these doors, if you place it in such a way where when you close it, it's technically open. So, if you look on the right-hand side there, about halfway down, it says open. True. If it's true... That means technically the door is open and zombies will not be able to break it. So, yeah, I don't think we need to worry too much about that. Not at all, in fact. What I am more concerned about is whether there might be, like, drowned around here. I mean, I don't see anyone. So, I'm just going to hope for the best. I think what we should do is maybe sort of, maybe speed this along a little bit. The less time I spend in this water, the better things are going to be, right? All right, come on then. One, two, three. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. And there we go. All right, five more trapdoors and all of these plant boxes will be done and dusted. Better safe than sorry with the trapdoors, Python. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I don't want to have any risk of dying because I'm stupid. Well, to be, to be honest, that'll probably happen anyway. How long has that fox been fishing? A long time. Like, they just don't seem to want to give up. <laughs> just keep going for it. We've got a couple of foxes fishing over there. As, uh, I'm pretty sure there's a fox over here. Yeah, there's one over there doing a bit of fishing as well. I mean, you know, to each their own. I quite like fishing in real life as well. It's been a very long time since I've been able to do that, though. But, yeah. It's just a chill thing. It's a very chill pastime, isn't it? I enjoy it. I like it. I like anything that, you know, means that I can be out in nature, you know? <coughs> so then, we've got these leaves. We're going to get all of these flower pots and we are going to get this little thing finished. Look at that, we're up to 15 levels. Excellent. Right, flower pots. All of them. I don't care. I just want all the flower pots, okay? That's good dedication. Yeah. At least the foxes have lost interest in your chickens. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh, yes. I am very, very, very glad about that. Okay, so let's get this thing rolling, shall we? We're going to finish off these little plant pots. This middle one here, going to do a little bit of this. Ah, oh, that looks so cool, though. All right, uh, more ferns. Can I, by any chance, get myself over here to place these bad boys as yes, I can? Epic. Have I ever had a crisp sandwich? Yes. That is like one of the all-time greats, you know? 
for me personally, I'll usually chuck in some grated cheese and then maybe some cheese and onion crisps. Although, to be fair, I think any flavor of crisps or chips, as you Americans might call them. Uh, yeah. Any flavor of crisps works in a sandwich, in my opinion. Even spicy ones, just box standard, ready salted, all that kind of stuff. They all work, in my opinion. So, yeah, I'm very much down with that. Uh, right, boosh, boosh. I've just realized I don't have any cherry saplings. What the heck? I should probably get on top of that. Oh, what the heck is that? Oh, it's the 11 soundtrack. Sorry, I just freaked out again. <laughs> oh, I'm actually interested in what a day in the life of the Pythonator is. To be fair, I don't really lead that exciting of a life. Like, not really. It's just very sort of normal. I wake up, I have my breakfast, usually toast, peanut butter, or marmite, or both. Like, one slice of marmite, one slice of peanut butter. Why not? I like a little bit of variety in my life, you know what I'm saying? Then I might spend the morning, I don't know, catching up with videos or streams or whatever. Uh, and that is all while I'm trying to ward off my morning voice because, my God, do I have a morning voice. And I, you know, it's like really noticeable. Like it's like immediately noticeable to people. And then maybe by midday I'll start getting on with some videos, you know? And then once that is done, I'll have some lunch. And then once that is done, I'll start getting on with some editing. Or maybe a stream, if it's a day for streaming. Right, so, uh, let's have ourselves... Wait, no one down here? Nope, all is well. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to do that every single time. I have to make sure there's no one down here. I need to try and light this up, don't I? Nighttime is when the real danger is, my friends. Like, really it is. We don't want a drowned. And the night time is when they'll come along. By the GB was impaled by a drowned. Hey, Celestial Maddie, I hope that doesn't wind up being the case. That would suck. Like, really, it would. <laughs> Alright, very good. So, we've got ourselves some of the plant boxes sorted out. And, do you know what? I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back for that one. I think that's looking pretty damn nice. Eh? Now, we need to get ourselves a few little plant bits at the bottom just to really finish it off. But more immediately, we need to finish the plant boxes for the front and back, yeah? We also need to figure out this, because this looks a little bit weird. Not too much a fan of it. Although, I think I've got an idea. Bear with me just a second. I'm going to figure this out, and it's going to be absolutely a fan fantastic. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to waltz on up here. Uh, I love all of the colors, especially electric colors, metallic colors, and neon colors, even fluorescent colors. Yeah, all of the colors. Do a little bit of that. Uh, maybe that as well, actually. Yeah, do you know what? That actually works quite nicely, I think. Lanterns when you get more iron? Yep, absolutely. We're going to be all over that. Oh, that looks way better, doesn't it? A little bit of shape, eh? I think, I think that's a W. I think that's a big old W. Right, uh, another shovel. I'd quite like to have another shovel. I'm, I know I'm saying that weird. Don't fret about it. <laughs> I say many things weird, as it turns out. Oh, that's nice. My Wi-Fi cutter. Ah, same. Shame. Shame. Shame, shame, shame. As in, like, shame on the Wi-Fi. Not to you. <laughs> it's not your fault. <laughs> <clears throat> Very nice. Hey, appreciate that. Thank you. Lewis Brannigan. Hello and hello again there, buddy. Thank you so much for the membership there, bro. Appreciate that. That means the absolute world to me. Right, let's get these placed in. And we'll get this removed. So, yeah, the front can be pink. That looks pretty cool, I think. And then the back, I think we can opt for maybe some ferns and some spruce saplings in flower pots. Why not? Yeah. Ooh, Fla favorite flavor of crisps. Now we're getting into the big questions. Ooh, there's a lot of different flavors of crisps, isn't there? <clears throat> I don't know. It changes. It changes. Like, for example, I quite like paprika. So I'll, I'll take paprika Pringles any day. But I think they're the best Pringle flavor going, like bar none. Well, they're saying that. There's quite a lot of different Pringles flavors now, isn't there? You've got all these, like, spicy variants. You can get, like, a spicy, sour, cream, and chive one now, can't you? That. That, that has a god-tier flavor right there. But if you're on about, like, sort of regular flavors, 
I mean, I'm partial to just some regular ready salted. Maybe cheese and onion. I don't even mind salt and vinegar. You know, I am one of those people. I will gladly have a packet of salt and vinegar crisps. A lot of people probably don't enjoy salt and vinegar because they've got a very particular taste about them. But, nah, not me. I enjoy them. I'm kind of down with it, you know what I'm saying? Ah. Sorry, <laughs> I just noticed what song is playing in the background, and I'm just like, mate, this is such a vibe. I'm definitely down with that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the plant boxes are done. Uh, I just need to get the whole little slab thing done. And I think we really are done with this house in terms of the uh, sort of infrastructure itself. Wait, why did I do that? That's not right. Yeah, there we are. <clears throat> yeah. Lays is kind of mid. Lays and walkers. Uh, Lays is called walkers in the UK. For any of you guys who don't know, they're the same brand, I'm pretty sure. They just have different names. Well, there we go. How about that, folks? <sighs> yeah, baby. I am loving this base so far. Yeah. It's on its own little island as well. I'm absolutely down with this. And I know we don't really have any bone meal, but what we can do to get around that is we could probably just grab ourselves a bunch of bushes and bits and bobs just by shearing, you know? And we could just go at it that way. You know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, dude, this is going to be so friggin' boss once it's done. I'm going to get the exterior done, okay? We're going to make this into like a proper little moat. Maybe we can make a little bridge going onto it because I really do want this to be on its own little island. I think that looked pretty awesome. And then, yeah. Ah, that is such a nice starter house, though. Ha! <laughs> I'm chuffed to bits with that. Like, really, I am. Like, I don't, I don't mean to toot my own horn and all that, but I don't, I don't get to do that very often. Like, most of my starter bases, I feel like, wind up being sort of the same, you know? It all gets a bit samey. I've been playing this game for over 13 years. Things are going to get a bit samey, you know? There's only so much creativity in the world, I guess. Although maybe that's not really something a true creative should believe. There's infinite creativity out there, isn't there? I don't know. That's, that's kind of one of those things, isn't it? It's up for interpretation. How long am I going to stream for? Uh, usually about two hours. So we've got about, what, 50 minutes more of the stream? But yeah, I was intending on getting maybe some more stuff done. I was intending on maybe trying to get... Oh, I don't know. What do I want to chuck here? The sand. Go away, sand. I don't want you. I'd rather have the leaves on me. Here we are. I was kind of hoping maybe I'd get myself a little bit of island securing done, but we've spent quite a while on the house. Like, more time than I thought than we would. You know? But you know what? I don't mind that. I really don't mind that. I'd rather spend the time to make a decent looking house than rushing it and making it look a little bit poo, you know? I'm definitely down with it. Here we are. Plenty of leaves. Okay, let's see if we can make some decent progress here. Got ourselves a whole bunch of bits and bobs. One of the things I could probably do is mix in some core step, but I think all I want to do is just kind of get this thing done. Hey there, Ashif. How you doing, bud? Hi, Python. Just got off work. Hey there, Sam Pop-Tart. How you doing? Good to see you. I hope you had a good day, man, everybody. Right. Now. Now we start getting some stuff done. Ah, bugger. That looks really poo now. Uh, right. I can't stand having these little slithers here. No way, Jose. That's not how we roll around here, folks. Uh, let's do this. Do a little bit of that. Dude, this place is going to look so boss once it's done. <laughs> I just really hope that we don't die in a stupid way. And what's more alarming is the fact that I can hear foxes. They seem to be getting ever closer to my base. The good news is... Since this is now entirely enclosed, they shouldn't be able to spot the chickens, right? I don't think foxes can pathfind to chickens through glass. I hope that's the case anyway. <laughs> oh, jeez. I feel the same. I've been playing Minecraft since 2011 on the Xbox 360. Good grief. Wow. You must have been like one of the very, very first adopters of the uh, of the console edition. That's craziness right there. Uh, right, making sure there's no drowned around here. I think we might be okay. What? Wait, I, I, I am seeing what I think I can see. Give me a sec. Uh, oh, God, what do we chuck? What do we chuck? 
Ah, uh, this singular brick. There's a bit of bone meal over there. I kind of want the bone meal. It's a free bit of bone meal. Why would I not take that? Inadvertent bone meal farm, anyone? <laughs> ah! Oh, wait a minute. Imagine if we drowned. That would have been pretty embarrassing, huh? I keep almost drowning. And I'm actually genuinely concerned about that. I really hope that's not how we wind up dying on this world. Well because that would be a big old sad. I don't want that. I always get anxiety when you tower up with dirt. Yeah, don't fret about it. So do I. So do I. Uh, you know what? That actually kind of works. I'm kind of down with that. Do a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of this. Uh, long grass is starting to run a little bit low though. But you know what? I think we can make it work. A little bit of this perhaps. Boom, boom. Waltz around here. A little bit more grass of epicness. And then maybe a little bit around here. Oh, mate. I think we've just done it, folks. The exterior of our base is now done and dusted. Dude. Oh, that works so friggin' well. I don't know about you folks, but I think that looks absolutely stellar. Yeah, for, for, a, for a starter base, I've not done too bad, right? I mean, come on. The leaves and the foliage at the bottom there finished it off, didn't it? You know? It finished it off. Yeah. Oh, I'm chuffed. Oh, I'm absolutely chuffed. We actually got it done. Bro. Looks like a little cake. I know, right? <laughs> oh, it's certainly the best base that I've done in a half-hearted hardcore run. Hey, folks. Only took us a stream and a half to get it done from the start. It's not bad, though, is it? It's not bad. I think we've done pretty good. So, uh, we were going to try and protect this island. Uh, thing is, we don't have a great deal of time left. Part of me feels like what I might want to do instead is maybe, I don't know, get some interior stuff done. See if we can't move a bunch of this stuff inside our base, you know? Okay, now to have the TNT. Ah, George Harris, you're one of those folks, huh? <laughs> you like to see the world burn. Nah, I'm kidding. I'd like to see it blow up, more to the point. <laughs> Make that an ice cream cake. <laughs> well, just put some, like, cakes on top of it. Like, on the actual roof itself, and then put some candles on it or something. Build a wall. A chimney would work well as well. Uh, I see your game. You just want me to go on the roof. And risk my life even more. I see your game. I do. I see your game. I see how it is. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Right. Uh, food. Good. Still got food. My inventory is like the prime example of a builder's inventory. And oh my goodness me, is it full to hell. <laughs> Keep it up, mate. I love your videos. Hey, Michael Johnson. Appreciate that, bud. Thank you so much for the kind words. Really, really appreciate it. Right. So then... Let's try and figure this out, shall we? Our cobblestone generator is there. I will. I mean, have I got time? I think I've got time. I think I can make a slightly better cobblestone generator before the end of this stream. I think it might be time, though, to start thinking about moving our storage inside, okay? Bye, the God of Run. Have a great day, everyone. Hey, Jen Marie, have yourself a good one. Thank you so much for continuing to be a member as well. Appreciate that a lot. Have a good one. So, I'm going to try to use torches here to see if I can't you know, help you guys visualize what we're going to have going on here, okay? So, we're going to have this, 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 and this. This is going to be like our enchanting corner, okay? So, double book shelf, double book shelf, double book shelf. That's what, seven? That's going to be 14. Maybe we could add another bookshelf there. Or maybe even there. Yeah. Alternating bookshelf heights. Why not? And then we're going to have ourselves a little bit of a bedroom area here, okay? So, let's whip our bed out here, and we'll do a little bit of that. Uh, do we want to use that, and then a little bit of that? We can have this as like a little bedside table. Yeah, bedside table with a fern. Yeah. I'm kind of down with that. That's kind of nice. <laughs> yeah. Without damage is crazy. Well, the fact that I've managed to make this base without taking damage is not bad, is it? It's not bad. <laughs> 
I think you should tower up to max limit. It would give you a really good view of the world. Very safe. Yeah. I mean, so long as you don't fall off it. Uh, or, or, so long as the thing is, like, entirely surrounded by water. Yeah. Maybe it is safe. But, yeah. All is looking well. 635, 765. Half-hearted, hardcore. Damn. Yeah, I know, right? The fact that we managed to make this entire base with half a heart. I mean, come on. I think this actually might be one of my greatest Minecraft achievements. I'm not even kidding. Like, screw taking down the dragon in regular Minecraft Hardcore. Nah, that's not an achievement. Not anymore. Everyone could do that. Making a really nice looking house. Well, what I believe is a nice looking house. Yeah. Doing that with half a heart. That's like, that's like God level 9001. <laughs> hope the pillagers don't spawn. I hope so too, Reddit, yeah. I hope so too. One trident, dude, and you're gone. I know. I know. I am well aware. Which is why... What I want to do is make it so there's like a bridge here leading out to a nice secure location. We're basically never ever going to go sort of around the surroundings of this house. That's just something I don't want to do. I don't want to risk it. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to have ourselves a nice secure bridge going over to the mainland here, which is going to be our island. And yeah, it's going to be good. That's the, that's what you need to, that's what you need to take away from this little seminar. It's going to be good. So yeah, let's see if we can't get this thing going. Watch out for charge creepers. Oh god, can you imagine coming across that with half a heart? That'd be a big old yikes, eh? <laughs> right, so then, how's about some storage? Yes, the time has come. We're going to have ourselves a few banks of storage. Do we want to do what we usually do, which is put like a waterfall in here? Oh no, if I break that, it's going to reveal access to the top, isn't it? Hmm. I don't know. Am I going to do Minecraft Extreme Mode soon? Oh, man. Depends what you define as Extreme Mode. Really, it does depend. <laughs> I mean, I'm not against it. I'm not against it at all, in fact. Like, if you guys have any, like, other Minecraft challenge ideas, then let me know. Bada-bing, bada-boom. But for now, though, let's keep this thing going. We are going to get ourselves a bunch of chests, okay? I just realized something. We've got barrels. They exist in the game. They are a thing that you can put things in. Half a heart and half a hunger bar. Oh, man. Can you imagine that? That would be a bit gnarly, that. I won't lie. That would be a bit gnarly. <laughs> oh, good grief. Oh, I kind of want to have a waterfall. I mean, like, am I being, like, silly for wanting a waterfall in here? Probably. But, I mean, I'm me. I like having water in a base. Buttery biscuit base. Eh, nah. I think I'm going to go with the answer of no. I'm just trying to think, though. How could I have water in here? I like having water sources. Water spruces up any build. Top half slab? That. Well done. That, that's a good idea. That's a very good idea. Smiley R979. Yeah, coming up with all those brilliant ideas. I love that. How did I not think of that? I'll tell you why. Because I'm a big old doofus, Bray. Hell yeah. All right. That works out a treat, doesn't it? So, let's keep it going. We'll get ourselves some more storage. We'll prioritize more storage for now. Good grief. We have so much crud. This is ridiculous. I need space. I don't want to chuck that wood on the floor. I need that wood. <laughs> uh, could do a lava fall. Dude, this is a wood house. It'll just burn down. I don't want that. So here we go. There'll be more chests here. Rather like this. Yeah? You guys get where I'm going with this? And then we can have like water down there. The water could double up as an area to get water bottles. You know? Get water bottles for some potion brewing? I think that'd be a pretty good idea. So, let's keep it going. Uh, okay, Python, gonna go. Uh, go get some rest. Have a great stream. Hey, Constant Tash, have yourself a good one, buddy. Hope you get some good rest. It would be cool watching a hardcore series where mobs would one-shot you. Well, the thing is, that, that kind of is half-hearted hardcore, you could say, to an extent. Maybe an armorless one? 
you know? If you had an armorless half-hearted hardcore run, then yeah, literally everything would one-shot you. If you do have armor in half-hearted hardcore, you might be able to take one arrow before you die. It's something I've tested in a previous season of this very challenge, and it is a thing that can happen. Armor makes a difference. It really does. So, I don't know. That'd be an interesting one. I really would. Okay, so, back to it. Uh, do we not have a bucket? We do have a bucket. Ah, excellent. Okay, so we can actually get this waterfall in here, like uh, this. Do a little bit of that. Ah, oh, that is so cool. I always forget you can water log slabs and stairs for that matter. See? How about those for a nice rudimentary storage area? I think this is cool. And what's better is we could probably duplicate that on this side as well. Why not, I guess? Uh, wait. Ah, this is open. Uh, oh, do you know what? I've just had such a boss idea. It's like boss level 69 million. So bear with me while I try to do a little something something here. If I do that... Hmm, maybe not that. Maybe this instead then. We could have... Oh, wait. No, that doesn't work. Ah, sorry. I'm being very indecisive right now. I apologize for that. Right, so we could have just three barrels, essentially, is what I'm thinking. You know, storage in the wall. Why not? That could be nice. Where's our crafting table? There it is. Uh, three barrels. Don't have enough for three barrels. Got enough for two. Do a little bit of that. Yeah. We're getting there. <laughs> Tower up to height limit. Try doing a clutch. Nah. No way. Am I going to be able to do that? <laughs> Again, I think you got too much faith in me there, buddy. That I'll actually be able to do that. <laughs> That'd be kind of crazy. And you know what? I know I may be going sort of mad with the whole storage idea here. But, I mean, all storage is good storage, right? So why not do this? Do a little bit of this, right? And then have... A little bit of this. You know, go for function. I like going for function. Yeah, very good. Very good. Hey there, Cobra. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a good day. Yeah. Iron farm next stream. Oh, good grief. Not just yet. That would involve having to try and get villagers. Not just one, not even two, but three of them. The most compact iron farm that I know of is Logical Geek Boy's design. You've basically got uh, villages in like a T-shape. So say you've got one bed there, you've got one bed there, one bed over here. You've got a zombie in the middle, and then you've got a platform above all of it all. And that platform is where all of the iron golems spawn. And then you simply need to have like a water flow, go down to a lava bit where the iron golems will just wind up dying, you know? So, yeah. Here I am explaining an un iron farm when actually a lot of you guys probably already know how to make an iron farm. I apologize if I've insulted your intelligence. <laughs> you can build a zombie-less iron farm. What? Good grief. Next stream, can you build an enderman farm? Dude, we are so far from making an ender for enderman farm. Are you crazy? Man, I'm pretty sure a lot of you folks just want to see me die, if I'm honest. Should try impossible mode Minecraft. Was that like a mod pack or something? I have no idea. Uh, I've just realized my outro song is playing. <laughs> Don't worry, the stream's not ending. Not just yet. We've got a little bit of time before that time comes. Boom, boom, boom. Really need to think about, you know, organizing our inventory. Because holy crap, is it still ridiculously full. Sod it. Let's put a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, charcoal, that goes in here. Boom, boom. And then we can start getting everything back out. And then we'll start wondering why the heck we just put everything away. Anyway, what I would like is some of this and some of this. Uh, is it time to start just picking up these chests? Probably, but I can't be bothered. So, let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Do a little bit of that. A little bit of this. We actually need 16 chests, don't we? Hey, Lecky! Thank you so much for becoming a member! I appreciate the support a hell of a lot there, buddy. Name on the end card as well. Absolutely wonderful. Appreciate the support. Thank you so much, and I hope you're having a great day so far. 
brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I love the generosity that you folks have. It's just, it's just beautiful. It really is. I cannot thank you guys enough. Whether it's donating, becoming a member, gifted memberships, or even just dropping a like on these streams here. All of it helps out massively, especially the likes on the streams, because it helps get these streams out, though, on YouTube. It really does. So, yeah. Thank you so much if you do decide to do that. Uh, right. A slab. Okie dokie. Oh, no. I, did... oh, I don't have any more spruce wood. Ah, bugger. Why is there a wall of cobble next to your chests? Uh, there's reasons, but at this point, I can't remember anymore. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I don't have any more wood. No, I need more. Uh, if you do make an Enderman farm, make I Jevons. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'll have a look at it. But I've always gone for the whole Endermite one. The Endermite in a minecart one, you know. I think that's sort of the traditional design that you have, isn't it? With a skeleton farm. Again, if we manage to get to that point, it may happen. You never know. Uh, they aren't hard depending on which version you use. Some have just a ton of stuff to get before making it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. When it comes to, like, iron farms and stuff like that, I always try to opt for the ones that that use the least resources and have the least sort of footprint as well. Because the last thing I want is a whole bunch of ugly farms on my world. You know? It's just not how I roll. And, you know, when it actually comes down to it... I'm only ever one person on a world. I don't need to have all of these stupidly hyper-efficient farms. It's just not something I need. If you were on, like, a large server with a lot of people, then yeah, you know, it would serve as a utility for a whole bunch of other people. In which case, yeah, going for OP farms is probably worth doing. But for me personally, on just a single-player world, just whatever works, really. I don't need to have things that give me 2,000 items per hour or whatever. Even if it's like a hundred items per hour. Still do the job for me. So yeah. It's all good. Anyway, back to the base. And I apologize, by the way. The whole point of this stream. I mean, it's in the stream title for crying out loud. We were supposed to be going ahead and uh, doing a little bit of protecting this island. But we haven't actually gotten around to it. Because I've been too focused on, you know, making this base look good. I guess. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, come on. Maybe it's time. I think it's time, folks. Let's start transporting some stuff. For example, I'm thinking we can have one of these barrels here be for food. And food that we can directly eat. So there we go. Jack of potato, cooked salmon, carrot. We can directly eat all of this stuff, which is brilliant. Uh, stuff that we can indirectly eat or we can craft into stuff that we can eat. So things like mushrooms, you know, I think that'd be a good way to go. Uh, I'm thinking in this one, maybe we could have saplings, you know, saplings, seeds, that kind of stuff. Yeah, I think that'd be quite a nice way to go. Let's grab all of these bad boys. Very nice. Hell yeah. Uh, favorite food to get for a takeaway. Ooh. For me, it's a top three rather than favorites. I love Mexican food, so we've got a Taco Bell. And rather more dangerously, the Taco Bell is literally about a three-minute walk from my house, which is crazy mode. Love Taco Bell. Love Mexican food. Uh, I love a good pizza. You know, just a bog standard, lovely pizza. What else do I love ordering in? Thai. Thai food. Oh, man. Thai food. Thai spices. Oh, Mm. Mm -mm. Absolutely brilliant. I absolutely love Thai food. Uh, but yeah, those are top three right there. <laughs> all right. So yeah, we've got all the foliage in here. Maybe we can start doing a bunch of stuff here. This one can be for... Oh, I don't know. Oh, there's so many things to try and figure out here. This first one can be for wood stuffs. So anything wood related can go in here. You know, I think that'd be a good idea. Then we can have one for like stone related stuffs like we're not gonna go we're not gonna spread ourselves too thin here you know what i mean i'm gonna like categorize a bunch of stuff so we can sort of maximize our storage effectiveness i guess uh i like pizza or oh, butter chicken ah oh, butter chicken is so nice though yeah i don't blame you for that one butter chicken is a beautiful yeah when it comes to curries and things like that i go more so for flavor rather than spice like, things like vindaloos and whatnots, yeah, they're kind of nice, but the spice kind of, 
you know, there, there comes a point where the spice sort of overtakes the flavor. And at that point, I kind of, I kind of have a little bit of a problem with it, I guess. So, you know, things like butter chicken, tikka masala, uh, jow crazy, probably at a push. It's probably the limit between flavor and spice for me. You know, they're both kind of up there. But anything sort of above that in terms of spice in this, yeah, the spice takes over in my opinion. So, yeah. Like, I'm not opposed to spicy food. Like, not at all. I love it. But my body might say otherwise. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, here we go. So, stone related stuffs. Uh, this one can be for, like, sediment, I guess. So, I'm thinking sand, gravel, dirt, grass. All that kind of stuff. That would be a good way to go, I think. Uh, oh, hay bales. They can go in here. Again, indirect food source. Let's have a bit of a snooze as well. Brilliant. Butter chicken for life. Yeah. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I would absolutely agree with that. I can't remember the last time I had butter chicken, though. Yeah. Been watching you for nine years. You never fail to deliver great content. Hey, Realcraft85, I appreciate that. Thank you so much for the kind words there, bud. Thank you. Thai iced teas are goated. Now, that is something I've never really been into. Not so much, you know, the Thai side of it. But iced teas, I've never really... I don't know. Just, just not something that's really interested me all that much, I guess. I don't know. Uh, all right. So, we've got glass in this one. In fact, this could just be sort of generic blocks. So, yeah. Glass could go in there. So, this is all sort of block stuffs categorized, I guess. Over this side, maybe we can have some more sort of decorative stuffs, you know? I think bone meal should go in here. Because for the most part, I use bone meal just to get foliage. So it makes sense for me to have them in the same sort of deal. Oh, snap. All right, we can finally get rid of all this as well. We don't need it here. Uh, do we have anything in here? No, we don't. So I think we're good. Have I watched Hot Fuzz? Yeah, I have. Many times. Yeah, I love Simon Pegg, Nick Frost films. Short of the Dead, is, I think, is my favorite one, personally. I just love it. It's like a stupid take on a zombie film, but it's it's just funny. I love it. Anything that makes me laugh, honestly. Like, I'm definitely down with it. Uh, oh, utility area. But we don't have a great deal of utilities. Huh. Okay, then. I mean... Up here? have a couple of utilities just sort of dotted along the way here. I mean, why not, right? I like having a good amount of utilities in my base. It probably means that this upstairs area might look a bit crowded, but I think we can work with it. I think we can work with it. Uh, oh, an egg. Oh, two eggs. Boom. Boom. Ah, darn it. No more chickens. That sucks. All right, so here we go. Valuables chest. Beautiful. We'll do this one last because there's a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Uh, do we want to put valuables in a barrel? Kind of. Yeah. We could have, like, actual valuables in a barrel like that. And then this side could be for, like, gear. Yeah. I kind of like the idea of that. I will absolutely diddly roll with it. The Cornetto trilogy is amazing. <laughs> Bloody Cornetto. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, empty map. Why is that in... Oh, sod it. I'll put it in there. Why not? Uh, bada bing, bada boom. All right, time for the last little chest here. I should be able to pick everything up here. There we go. All right, absolutely wonderful. Talking of wonderful, Realcraft85. Five gifted memberships. There we go, folks. Can we get some hearts and chat for Realcraft85? Appreciate the support there, buddy. If you were donated a membership, then do be sure, of course, to say a big old thank you to the person who gifted it to you. Moonlit Pearl, Umesh, Singanmala, Rebellious Cowboy. Hey, there's a name I recognize. Angie Corkill and Steve Meek. There you go. Hope you enjoy your memberships. Thank you so much, Real Craft. I appreciate that a lot. I appreciate that a lot, buddy. Like, a lot, a lot. Uh, right, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something... A little bit different here. So that can go there. I might put this on top instead. And then this can go on top of here. And then we could have a couple more utilities in the middle there. Because why not? Yeah. Beautiful. All the hearts. Love to see it. Right. More wood. That could go in there. That can go in there. That, that, that. And that. 
I mean, not really a building thing, but it'll still be useful. You know what I'm saying? Uh, foliage. Do we consider sugarcane an indirect food source or foliage? It's kind of both. But we have to decide whether it's more so one or the other. <laughs> I don't really know. Uh, sweet berries, we can eat that directly. That can go in there. Why am I being so freaking particular with this? Ah, jeez. Hey, King Claw Blazer, how you doing, buddy? How's it going, Python? Also, in your opinion, what was the worst change Meriang has ever made? Phantoms? I think that's most people's go-to answer. Uh, I don't know. Aside from Phantoms, though? Oh, I don't know. The one thing that's springing to my mind is not allowing Mending and Infinity on the same bow. But I kind of understand why, because that is incredibly overpowered, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Foliage? People are saying that uh, sugarcane is more so foliage? Yeah, I'm kind of down with that. Right, so that's decorative stuffs. Ink sacks, decorative? Yeah, makes black dye, doesn't it? So, yeah. Wheat, I could go in here. Glistering melon, that's a, that's a potion thing, right? So, there we are. Leather can go in there. BBC to go in here. Sorry, I'm just like trying to figure everything out at this point. I know, watching people organize their storage. It's not the most interesting thing to watch. Not at all, in fact. But here we are. It's just one of those things that needs to be done, isn't it? Bloody hell, look at all this freaking sugar cane we're getting. Wow, that's kind of nuts. <laughs> Definitely phantoms, yeah. Out of all the ways to die, how would you want to die in this series? I wouldn't want to die. That's the point. <laughs> I don't know. It'd have to be, like, some way unique, I think. Charge Creeper? Dying to a Charge Creeper? Is that unique? I would maybe say that's unique. I don't know. Sugar is an important ingredient for cakes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that could be useful for if we wanted to go for the whole, you know, 100% uh, advancements thing, perhaps. Uh, worst change was making ocelots useless. Ah, oh, do you know what? I'm on board with that. I'm absolutely on board with that. Yeah. I mean, you can make them sort of trust you, but that's about it, right? Like, there's no real sort of sense of taming them anymore, is there? I really don't like the fact there's rain right now. The last time we had rain was the time we almost died. Drowned started spawning in the rivers here. And we had the fright of our lives. I don't want that. I don't want that to happen again. Could we get a little bit of night time so I could sleep? Oh, doesn't seem like it, eh? Uh, oh, sorry, chicken. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> 1.13 was awful. Eh. Eh. Uh, I'm not sure I'd agree with that. Uh, you know, 1.13 came with some cool things, you know. A complete overhaul to the ocean. You know? And I was absolutely down with all of that stuff, you know? Uh, but yeah, anyway. Let's keep it going. I think what I'd like to do now is maybe start actually placing in some of the bookshelves. We've got plenty of resources to be getting on with. So let's do a little bit of that. Do we want to make all of these into books? Yeah. Why not? And then we can use the remaining paper for firework rockets. Not that I'm saying I'm going to get to that point. Never know. If I manage to get myself a notch apple or something. If I buff my... I mean, even if I buff myself up with potions, I mean... Wait. Well, I might be being stupid here, but I don't know if anybody knows... You know when you eat a regular golden apple and you get those two extra hearts? If you take damage to the point where you lose those two extra hearts, can you regenerate those two extra hearts? Or is it two extra hearts and when you lose them, that's it? Like, can a regen potion be used when you've got the absorption effect? No, I don't think so either. I... I'm not entirely sure that I want to experiment with that either. Lose it and that's it. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Yeah. I don't want to get to the point where I'm winding up testing that. They're gone for good. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I thought so. I just wanted to make double sure. 
Oh, look at that. I've got 17 bookshelves. Don't need 17, though. Only need 15. Nope, Gonzo. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. All right, so here we go. We can start placing in these bookshelves, folks. Oh, snappers. So basically do like a base layer here, and then we've got six more to place down. Let's say one here. I quite like to be able to see outside, so that would be... I mean, yeah? Could we place one here? I think one here would work quite nicely. I mean, yeah, why not? Let's just roll with it. And then maybe we can have a few utilities up here. I'm thinking, you know, anvil, once I get one. Uh, grindstone, ender chest, maybe a couple flower pots as well, just because it's me. <laughs> yeah. In your regular hardcore world, would you rather build an XP gold farm or enderman farm? Uh, probably an enderman farm. Enderman farms, I think, are more easy to make. Although, I don't know. Maybe I haven't made enough gold farms to consider them easy. You know? I think that's maybe a subjective viewpoint to have, I guess. How easy something is. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, let's get ourselves a few more bits of bobs here. We're looking very, very good in terms of this base, I might add. I think we're looking absolutely fantastic, in fact. Uh, boom, boom. Okay. A little bit more decorating. So, have that there. Have that there. Have that up there. Yeah. Then once we have an end chart table, we're going to be looking pretty damn good. Yeah. Do we have the ability by any chance? Oh, we might. Hang on. If we were to get ourselves some of these. Yeah. Yeah. All right. There's the grindstone recipe. Epic. Do this. Uh, we need... I think we're good, actually. Hey, Python, how are you? Hey, Prithi, or Prithvi. I'm doing okay. Thank you for asking. Hopefully, you're doing well as well. Welcome, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Hopefully, you're doing well. There we are. So, that could go there. The anvil could go right there. We could have maybe a chest, maybe an ender chest up there as well. Oh, this is going to look so boss. Oh, dude. All right, come on. This interior... Is starting to get somewhere. Eh? Maybe we can have a chest there. I mean, screw it. Why not? So, anvil there. End the chest there. If we get to the point of having an ender chest, that is. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, we go to sleep. We should wind up spawning at the foot end of the bed. Yes? Oh. On the slab. Well, thank goodness this room is tall enough to friggin' well have me spawn on that slab. If this room was only two blocks tall, then I probably would have suffocated to death. That would have been really bad. <laughs> oh, man. Python, are you going to do the Minecraft Aether mod like XQC did? Oh, man. It has been some years since I've played with the Aether mod. Aether mod? Aether mod? I used to love that mod back in the day. Like, really, I did. I thought that was, like, one of the all-time fantastic mods in this game. So, I'm not going to rule it out, but equally, I don't want to promise anything. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I can't believe how well we've done today, folks. Like, come on. Hey, Not done. Too bad today. Maybe I can make a little bit of a start at the very least. Okay? Make a bit of a start on Operation, you know, maybe dig out our little moat here. Oh! I didn't mean to do that. And maybe, you know, start filling up this lake, perhaps. Maybe start filling up some of these other little bits and bobs. So, yeah. Uh, Enderman farms are stupidly easy nowadays. Just wondering, could you even throw an enderpearl and survive with half a heart? Bruh. That's a good point. I don't know. I genuinely don't know the answer to that. Ah, uh, if I had full protection for diamond armor, I guess it's possible that I might be able to survive an ender pearl throw. Yeah, that's that's going to be a really, really difficult one to find out that. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Hey, I was able to pop in after all. Hey there, lol, bab. Welcome, welcome. 
You've done awesome today. Hey, appreciate that. We really haven't done too bad, though. Like, really. We've actually managed to finish our house. We've even got a little bit of an interior going for once. Didn't think I'd get round to the interior in today's episode. But, you know, we kind of sacked off, you know, protecting the island a little bit in favor of, you know, getting our, you know, stuff's done here. So, yeah, I think we're good. Alternatively, you can eat a golden apple. Ah, yeah, good point. Good point, Kaiba. Good point. Alanachka. Hey, appreciate the gift and membership. The Bat7609, if you're in chat here, do be sure, of course, to send a big old thank you to Alanachka's way. Appreciate the support. Thank you so much there. It means the world to me. It really does. Hi, Barthen. Hey, Recredit. How you doing? Good to see you. Wow. We really need to start thinking about upgrading our gear because... Us trying to, you know, prepare this land to build on eventually, it's going to require probably quite a lot of shovels, isn't it? So, yeah. Ah, oh, man. A lot of shovels, in fact, probably. Ah, uh, right. Uh, I kind of want to be able to walk over to my island here. So, I'm thinking we need to start thinking about... I'm thinking we need to start thinking about... Dude, I'm so bad at talking. Like, my vocabulary seems extremely limited sometimes, doesn't it? <laughs> what did you miss? Well, uh, you just missed this house, basically. We've got the damn thing done, pretty much. And it's looking... Well, I mean, again, I don't mean to toot me own horn, but I think it looks pretty splendid. Like, I'm absolutely down with it. We've got our nice little storage area here. We've got upstairs. We've got a little bit of a viewing platform. Yeah! We can go down... Uh, sorry, we can go up here. And we've got ourselves a utility area. We've actually got our little enchant area placed down. Excluding the enchant table because we don't have any diamonds or obsidian just yet. A little bit of a bedroom. I mean, this is all we need. Just to be able to sleep. It's as simple as that. This is going to be a little utility area because, I mean, yeah, that'd be a good idea. Maybe we could have potion ingredients up here, actually. That is not a bad idea, little old python. Yes, I think that'd be a mighty dang fine idea, in fact. So, let's do that. Yes. Uh, if you do get bad omen and start a raid, just leave and let the golden take care of it. Let the golden take care of it? Not entirely sure what you mean there, golden. Not an idea. Anyway, never mind. There we go. So, this is going to be for... Oh, wait, hang on. I can walk on top of that. I need to do a thing. Bear with me. I'm just trying to python proof this, okay? If I can python proof this, then we're going to be okay. I'm going to do a bit of that, yeah? Yeah, I mean, only if we were really, really determined to walk on this fence can we actually do that. Yeah, why not? Oh, golem! Oh, yeah, an iron golem. Ah, right. Fair enough. Maybe. Opportunity to put a double chest between the furnaces? Yeah. I mean, there's probably something else that we could put there. I'm thinking smithing table, actually. Although that... I mean, obviously, the only time we're going to use that is... Well, probably, firstly, to put armor trims on. But later on, netherite gear. We have managed to get netherite gear in the first season of half Hearted Hardcore. But... Back then, we didn't have the netherite upgrade templates. This time we do. The only way to get a netherite upgrade template is from a bastion. And that, my friends, the prospect of going to a bastion with half a heart of health. Oh, man. Is that a big old yikes or is that a big old friggin' yikes? You know what I'm saying? When are we going for diamonds? I would say probably in the next stream. We do need to start thinking about upgrading our gear, don't we? Like, really, we do. Uh, I think what I'm going to do... Just so I don't forget where things are going to go. Okay, I'm going to start putting down signs. Because I don't want to forget the ideas that I've had. So, for example, right here, I'm going to have an anvil. Up here, ender chest. Okay, if we get to the point of getting an ender chest, that is. Uh, here, smithing table. Yeah? All right. Oh, what the? Or, AW. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I'm complimenting the smithing table. Um, we could potentially have something on top of the smithing table as well. Yeah. That goes for it. Come on, go for it. It's just a bastion. It's just a bastion. Well, you're probably downplaying that, aren't you? <laughs> oh, good grief. Wow. Crafting table? Oh, crafting table. Bro! 
You are not kidding. How the hell have we not got a crafting table? I mean, yeah, we've got one downstairs, but we don't have one up here, do we? Oh, dude. Why didn't I think of that? It's like one of the most basic utilities you can have, and we don't have one? Oh, my word. Right, I'll tell you what. Smithing table can go on top of here, yeah? Boom. Boosh. There we are. I mean, I could spend a couple of my uh, iron ingots on a smithing table right now, but I think that would be a bit of a waste, because there are things that I think take precedence over that. You know? You didn't f uh, fall for the bait, did you? No way. <laughs> Yeah, I may have done. <laughs> yeah, I fall for all the bait, it turns out. Uh, right, that can all go in there just because why not? All is looking well. I nearly died in a bastion in full protection for netherite armor. Wow, that's a bit of a yikes, isn't it? Oh, there's smooth stone in here? Wow. I did not know that. I completely forgot that I had stuff going on inside. <laughs> Oh, uh, bro. Ceiling smithing table. That'd be an interesting one. Oh, dude, we haven't even put anything in here. Oh, we need to do that before the stream ends, eh? Maybe like a little micro crop farm? Micro crop farm. Yeah. Speaking of piglins, though, it definitely would be a good idea to barter with piglins for fire res potions. Hey, that's a good idea, Celestial. That's a really good idea. Cows! Cows, that's a good idea as well. Just means that, you know, they won't have a great deal of room. But, yeah. I mean, the chickens don't have a lot of room. But then again, chickens are small, aren't they? Eh. I mean, yeah. Let's just do it, I guess. Uh, fence gate. That ah, bugger. Uh, we've got a certain kind of fence gate. And I don't want to break rhythm, I guess. So, let's get ourselves a nice sprucey boy. Wheat farm to breed the chickens. Interesting idea, to be fair. But I think I'm pretty set at this point on a cow farm. And we don't even have to worry, you know, about them being able to get out or anything like that. We don't have to worry about dipping down. Wait, do we? Oh, uh, no, we might have to, actually. Huh. Okay, we still need to dip this down by, by a block because we don't want them to jump onto here, then go out here, and then just get out. We don't want none of that, okay? None of that nonsense. Put a cow farm there. Yeah, exactly, Sahilo. Exactly. That's what we are opting to do. So let's see if we can get this done real quick, like, before the stream ends. We are just on the cusp of it at this point. Uh, some more stone just to do the underneathy parts. And then we're going to get some cows. Uh, I don't even know if there's any cows around here. Did we ever find any? I don't know. I guess we'll have a look in just a sec here. Uh, we do need some wheat though. So we can lure them back in the first place. We need to have a little bit of a snooze as well. And then yeah. You can entity cramp. Be careful. Yep, I'm well aware. But I, I, the chances of us actually hitting that is pretty remote. I would say. It's 24 entities per block. And we've got, what, six blocks here? So if we really wanted to, we could have, like, well over 100 cows in here. But we're not going to do that. We probably would have called them before we got to that point. Right. Cows. Any chance of finding any cows? I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I'm late, but I made it. Hey, don't worry about it, MT and Linda. Don't worry about it one bit. Don't forget, you can watch all of these streams after the fact as regular videos. In fact, if you've caught the stream, you might even be able to rewind the stream live here and watch it from the start there as well. Ah, uh, oh, jeez. Okay, so no cows on my island. Ah, oh, rats. Okay, okay. Ha! <laughs> They're scared because they see cooked steak in the inventory. Probably. It's very possible that I've accidentally culled all of the cows around here. In which case, that's actually pretty sad. Oh, man. This is going to be a hell of an exploring adventure, isn't it? And I don't want it to be. I want there to be cows, like, really, really, very, very near our base. 
so we don't have any risks of like falling down into something and just dying of fall damage or something dumb, you know? Ah, come on, cowsies! Oh, cowsies! I can see sheep over there. Not looking for sheep. Here's a future challenge to get a mushroom cow and put it in a separate pen. Ah, uh, that'd be kind of cool, right? I mean, when it actually comes down to it, what we really should have done is seen if we could get lucky with spawning on a mushroom island. You don't get any hostile mobs ever spawn on a mushroom island. Not even in the underground of a mushroom biome. Ah, uh, can you imagine that? Can you imagine if we got lucky enough to have that happen? That would be so cool. I'd be able to explore the caves... And we just have to rely on not dying of full damage. Would have been totally fine. Uh, but yeah. Let's keep it going. Ah, uh, are we going to find one? Oh, a dog. Hey, doggy. How you doing, broski? I got one of your kind on my island. So, you know, one of these days I might get around to actually taming it. That'd be kind of cool. What time of day is it? Morning. Okay, we've got a good amount. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, excellent. Right. So long as it doesn't start raining, we may be safe to cross this. I think we are. Right, put this on our off hand. Ah, oh, here we go. Come on, cowsies. My God, look at all the look at all the uh, farm animals around here. How many crap, man? Wow, there's so many. All right. Four eggies. Yeah, baby. All right, I don't even mind if one of the cows sort of winds up losing interest. We just need two. Oh, my God. This is really dangerous. The longer we stay in this river, the hot. Wait, that's a village. Did we discover that village previously? Oh, no, they've lost interest. No, 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 You better come your way back here, buddy. That is a village. Have we already explored that village? Wow. I think that may just about be a next stream dealio, if so. Bring more chickens at the same time? Nah. I don't think we need to do more chickens, folks. I think we're okay. I think that's a blacksmith up there as well. It is. I can see a blacksmith. Ah! Uh, I really want to explore it, but equally, we're actually starting to run over. Dude, cow, what is wrong with you? Come on over! The longer I spend in here, the more chances there are of a potential drown spawning in. Come on! Oh my god, this is so frustrating. I wish I had leashes, truly. It would be dangerous for me to obtain a leash from a wandering trader, though. The llamas could spit me to death. Literally. We don't want that, do we? Not really. You can use a boat. Yeah, but we can only transport one cow at a time with a boat. Unfortunately, on Java Edition, you can't leash boats, so you can't have, like, a boat train or anything like that. It's just not a thing you can do, unfortunately. Come on, now. You're almost here. Come on. Before it becomes night time, please. Pretty please. Oh, good grief. Okay, come on. Right, I don't even care. Right, we've got two of them. That's enough to breed with. I don't care about that third guy, okay? We don't need a third wheel up in here, okay? We just don't need them. The good news is wolves don't go for cows either, so we should be okay to go for our base. It should be smooth sailing, is what I'm saying, basically. So long as we don't fall down a hole of any kind or get pricked to death by a bush. We don't want none of that. Uh, could put a trader on a boat and you get free leads. Ah, Sherry Ali. Yes! You are quite right. I forgot about that. Oh, no. Not more water. Oh, for goodness sake. Ah! It's going to become night time, isn't it? Where is it? No, it's midday. Okay, we've actually still got plenty of time. But this is a pretty large body of water. We need to try and find where it's its most narrow. And then we can do this thing. Uh, Python, I finally found you again. You were in my childhood. You're the best, man. Hey, Lucas, thank you so much for the kind words there, buddy. Appreciate it a lot. I really, really do. Ali, 1 million IQ play. Yeah. Quite right, though. You must put llamas in the boat. Ah, oh, 
Oh, it's you. Hello. Uh, right, we've got sheep with us now. I don't want you getting in the way, dude. I just want the cows. The cows are the most important. The sheep, you can, like, do other stuff. Right, no drowned? No drowned. Okay, come on, cowsies. Uh, sheep, you're kind of in the way there, buddy. Ah, oh, hell. Oh, the longer we stay here, the more dangerous it's going to be. Come on. At least they're actually coming along. They're not doing some, some weird, like, spinning in the water crap. Imposter sheep. I know, right? This guy thinks he's a freaking cow. This guy's trying to get in on the free homestead for the cows. Oh, dude. I know none of that. Thing is, that sheep and the other sheep over there were the only other sheep I've seen. I don't really want to kill this guy. Not really. If at all possible, I want to get the cows in the pen and sort of lure the sheep away. So, yeah. Okay, come on. The only water source we have left now, folks, is the little moat. And then we're in the base. We can get these guys in the pen. We can get the sheep back out because I don't particularly want them to be in there. And then we should be okay. So, let's do this. These guys should single file in here, yeah? Okay, come on then. In you come. Hey, what the? Oh, well, that works. Okay. Uh, right. How am I going to... You, my good sir... Oh, good grief. All right. And now they're stuck. Oh, for goodness sake. You really have made a pig zero of this, haven't you? Right, give me a sec. I'm going to try something. I'm going to do a little bit of this. Yeah, yeah, I can push them in. No, 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 no. Oh, crumbs. Come on. In you go, in you go. Ah, oh, sheep, though! I'm going to have to kill the sheep, aren't I? Ah, oh, Sonic. All right. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. In you come. Like, really, though. In you go. And breed on up. Yeah! We have a cow farm. Oh, wait. We've got to do that trick again, don't we? Uh, we've got to place it down like that. Yeah. And that's open again. Okay, excellent. We did it, guys. We are done and dusted. Eggies can go in there. That can go in there. We can put this back on. And we have a nice clean inventory ready for the next stream. Yeah. Whew. We've done it, folks. The interior of our house is indeed done. Aside from a couple of bits which we just don't have access to just yet. What a stream, though. We've not done bad, have we, today? Come on, we've not done too bad. We've got a chicken pen. We've got a cow pen. We've got storage now. We've got a bunch of utilities up here. We've got a bunch of utilities underneath the stairs. We've basically completed this entire house as well. Exterior included. All of this with half a heart of health in hardcore Minecraft. Come on. Took an entire day for the cows to cross. Yeah, I know, right, Jameson? I know. I, I tell you what, someone was asking earlier what the worst change in Minecraft is. I think I've got it now. There was a point in the past where mobs would move way more quickly through water. I don't know what update it was where they slowed them down to a bleeding crawl, but that, that is definitely top three worst changes in this game over the years. If they could re-quicken up the mobs in water. Oh, man. Transporting animals around without the usage of a lead or whatever else. It would be so much easier. Like, really, it would. But, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that is indeed time to wrap up the stream. We've got over a bit, but I wanted to get this goal done. And, yeah. We've done it. We have completed this house. It is done, folks. It is actually done. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope that you guys have enjoyed today's stream. If you haven't already and you want to help get these streams out there on YouTube, I'd really appreciate it if you'd head down beneath the stream or video. If you're watching this as a video, I'd appreciate it if you'd head down there and drop a big old like. I mean, come on. The house that we finally finished all with only half a heart. Come on. That's got to deserve a like, surely, folks. <laughs> but yeah. 
Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on my future content. The next live stream will be on Wednesday at 4 p.m. GMT. So tune in then. Hopefully, we're going to start on some upgraded gear. And who knows? Maybe some caves. Although, I'm hoping maybe we just sort of strip mine as opposed to exploring caves. Half a heart of health and exploring caves. It doesn't go hand in hand, folks. It really doesn't. But we'll see how we go in terms of trying to get ourselves some gear. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, folks. Thanks for all of your support. Thank you to all of the new members, gifted memberships, and donations. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.